People like you who judge others are the ones who are the ones who are stupid, who are ignorant, and demented in a certain way. Again, let me say that. Let me say that again. People like you who judge others like you have judged me and then unsubscribed from me, you are the ones who are stupid, who are ignorant, and demented in a certain way. You're the idiot. Over the last week or so, I've run across a number of videos like the one I used at the beginning of this video. Most weren't as confrontational, but all of them complained about their growth as a channel or thought they deserved more recognition for their work. And look, I get it. Making YouTube videos is hard work. When you pour your heart and soul into something, you want it to succeed. But if you're obsessed over subscriber numbers and analytics, I think you're doing it for the wrong reasons. I really do. That doesn't mean you shouldn't put effort into growing your channel, but I'd honestly be doing this even if not one person were listening. I just love to do it, and it offers me a way to work through my own thoughts and emotions over subjects I want to explore. I have videos I haven't even uploaded because they're just me working through my own thoughts and ended up turning into something I didn't feel was good enough to release to the public. When I'm out in the real world, I'm thinking about my next video. I'm looking for subject matter, reading about how to make better videos, and hashing out ideas and commentary in my head. Maybe this sort of excitement won't last, but maybe it will. And yes, I do admit that when I get a new subscriber, it makes me feel good. I am human. <laughs> However, subscribers, likes, and so on aren't why I do YouTube. I do it because it makes me happy, and it forces me to learn new skills such as video editing, recording commentary, etc. I also tend to admire channels that will talk about unpopular subjects, even when they know their core fan base is going to unsubscribe from them or hate on their video. One example of what I'm talking about is when Mundane Matt said BuzzFeed was right to release the Russian dossier. He even says at the beginning that he knows the video is going to get disliked into the ground, but he released it anyways. I don't agree with his take, but I respect the shit out of him for voicing his opinion anyways and for starting that conversation. Even though I think people have a right to sub and unsub from anyone they choose, I also don't understand people who unsub because a YouTube creator says something they don't agree with. A recent example of this would be all of the people commenting that they were unsubbing from Thunderfoot because he thought Lauren Southern was being dishonest in her coverage of the anti-Trump rallies. Again, I don't agree with him. I think he took it too far by attacking Lauren Southern's character instead of attacking her ideas or what she was doing. But I didn't unsub from him because he made a few videos I didn't agree with. I watched the videos and decided for myself whether I thought he was right or wrong. But I digress. I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that if you're a creator, I think you should be doing it because you love to create videos. The rest is just window dressing. When you're doing something you love, I think it shines through in the finished project and people pick up on that. In other words, whether we're talking about YouTube videos or not, find the things you love to do and do the shit out of them. Thanks for listening to my rambling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Cheers.